Okay, so I'm going to uh, press on with my project of upgrading, modernising my um, Shakespeare Mat 2 Boron float rod. Um, so I've upgraded the handle, put a modern reel fitting on, and the next phase which I want to do is I want to tidy up the handle, the cork handle, by filling some of these gaps. Now this is an old rod, it's like 35 years old or something like that. So, you know, it's worn, it's shrunk, it's dried out, and I just want to see if I can tidy it up a little bit. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to um, mix up a paste which is made from EVA white glue, the kind of stuff you use for crafting, woodworking, that kind of thing. Um, I'm using this Mod Podge brand. Uh, I, I use this for a lot of things. Um, it dries pretty well. Um, translucent, translucent white. Uh, sorry, translucent, transparently white, just a slight tinge. Um, so I know I'm not going to get any tinting. This is cork dust. Um, I ground down some of the bits of the cork handle I took off this rod and made it into a um, into this powder. I've seen online where people have used rasps to get something a little bit more uh, chunky. Um, I'm going for the powder approach. I'm not sure if that's right or wrong, but that's what I'm going to do. And the idea is, is you mix it up and you make it into quite a gunky paste. And I don't know whether I'll just put too much or not. Let's see how it goes. No, it looks like it's going to be all right. And I've mixed this up. I've got um, like one of these lollipop stick things. I buy these from the craft shop or pinch them from Starbucks, Costa, that kind of thing. Um, made a little tray out of some foil and then using this mixer all I'm literally going to do is I'm going to fill some of these gaps and EVA glue dries um, and it shrinks very slightly so I want to fill these gaps you know, potentially overfill them, put too much on. I'm sort of pressing it in, but I, I, I don't think it, I, I don't think it needs to be kind of going mad with it. Masked up the real fitting. I don't want to get any on there. You know, it's brand new. I haven't used it yet. And then literally, I'm just going to try and fill up. Not all, because otherwise it's going to look a bit odd, I think, but just the worst of it. So, I can't imagine this is uh, the most riveting watch, so I'm going to stop the video for now. and um, I'll restart it when it's dried in sort of 24 hours or so and we'll talk through the idea of trimming it back, sanding it down and see what we come up with. Right, so a quick update on my uh, Mac 2 Boron project. Um, so I've been working on the handle. Um, last I left you I was showing how to fill it so I've, uh, it's dry. <laughs> Um, and I've been sanding it down and I've got it to a point where I'm reasonably happy with it. I've got to be honest and say I'm not totally happy. Um, I think one of the challenges was using the EVA glue. Um, as I'm sanding and the glue gets hot, I can feel it gets a bit, um, it gets warm, it gets a little bit tacky and seems to be a little bit harder to then uh, rub off and it just yeah I, I'm I'm sort of struggling a little bit and it's it's probably impossible to show but I've actually um, created a tiny little indentation here just from my uh, uh, my my efforts at sanding away with various grit sandpapers so I think I'm going to leave it as it is um, it's definitely an improvement on, on what it was and I also needed to kind of remind myself that when I'm actually fishing with this you know, this is where the reel is going to be. I'm going to be holding it like this. I'm not going to be holding it down here. So, you know, this really is a kind of a cosmetic exercise. So, 
yeah, I think I'm, you know, this is okay. Um, before I started sanding, uh, when it dried, um, this is actually what it looked like. Um, so pretty crusty. Um, so this is actually uh, the the TriCast Wands, which is a where I did a pretty detailed sort of um, how to upgrade a handle session. So I decided that I would, uh, um, yeah, just go and just tidy up this handle. I think I had some of the stuff that I mixed up the the cork dust and the EVA glue paste left over. So I just thought I would fill it up and just tidy it up. So when it was like this, the first thing I actually did um, was I, I used a razor blade. Um, I'm, I'm a real fan of these single sided like scrapers, I think they're called, and was literally just um, shaving back just to get the sort of the main lumpy bits off, just really to reduce the amount of sanding I was doing. And the whole logic behind it was I didn't want to risk just digging into the cork too much. So, you know, I've, I, I've got from this down to where I am with the Mac 2 and yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of pretty happy with it. I've mulled over whether or not I'm going to put some kind of sealant on this handle and I've decided I'm not going to do that. Um, I've never done that before. Um, I've just seen some people quite keen on, on doing it on some of the online forums but I think this is okay for, for what I want it to be. So my next piece which I'm going to show you is actually um, the final part I think of this project which is to uh, just redo some of the finish of this rod um, just to really make it look a bit cleaner and tidy it up and maybe give it a, a, a bit of protection from the elements although that's not really what I was thinking about I just, just want to make it look a bit nicer. So we'll, we'll get into that next. Okay, so a bit of a sort of an action session now. Um, so this is the rod. I'm hoping that on this white background you can see this is the area that I've previously talked about where um, there's no shine. Um, and this was because originally this was where the whipping was, so I... Uh, took it off, uh, cleaned it all back, and it is very, very smooth now. Um, but I, I just want to, I just want to finish it so that it looks a bit better. So what I'm going to do actually is on this butt section, I'm going to cover all the way up. I think to this first ring. The idea being, um, I'm just going to put something which is just going to preserve the, the the logo on here a bit and stuff like that as well. Um, some of the other sections have also got little pieces that just need little bits to touch up oh, I haven't got them to hand so you have to believe me on that but there's a couple of places on the others where just sort of between the the two sets of whipping there's some damage which I think was where I would um, strip them off and then I was making sure that uh, the the blank was as smooth as possible try to get rid of any sort of remnants of the ridges and so forth from um, where I was where, where the original whippings were and I just found that the smoother uh, the, the, the blank, the better the finish, the easier it was to whip up. I, I actually chose to use a very fine um, whipping thread this time round and uh, that just needed, just needed it to be smooth. So, okay, the, there's, there's a couple of things to talk, sort of talk through here. So, first of all, the thing that I'm, or the, the, the thing that I'm going to use is actually this product here which is uh, Gorilla Glue and it's white Gorilla Glue which is very important so I'm told. So white Gorilla Glue um, even though it's called white it actually dries um, transparent and it dries really really hard. It's something that's been used quite a lot by people that build cane fishing rods so um, the beauty of it is you can actually just wipe it on and wipe it off so um, you can you can build up as much or as thin a, a layer as you want and give it as much depth as you want just by the number of wipe on wipe off um, coats you put on um, letting each coat dry before you add the next one the um, white Gorilla Glue isn't officially imported by, uh, by the makers of Gorilla into Europe or the UK 
um, you can buy it. Um, I, I, I've actually got a US mailing address, so it's quite. I, I sort of use it to get stuff like this, and then every now and again, I just you know get hold of the a batch when I'm next in or next time I'm in the states. So I'm okay. First thing first is I want to make sure that um, this is clean and free from grease. So I'm actually going to use just some. Um, this is just uh, uh, alcohol ethanol. This is. Uh, this is actually Dutch. I, I used to live in Amsterdam and I, I bought this when I was living there. So um, this is just great for making sure stuff is clean and free from any grease. So to clean this up, all I'm going to do is I've got some kitchen paper, kitchen towel, and I'm literally just going to put a little bit on there just like that. And I am just going to clean this down all the way up to the, uh, the ring section, yeah. So, I'm just gonna get it as clean as I can. I did actually notice that there was a mark just here, so I need to think: is that something that's gonna gonna come off? I don't know. But I'll give it a good wipe and you can just see that's the crud that's come off yeah so I think I might do it a second time just to make absolutely sure I guess that squeaking tells me that there's no grease on this which is what we want Okay, so nice and clean. Still got that little mark on there. Don't think there's anything I can do about it. I can't feel anything. Maybe if it's wet and filled, it'll hide it. I don't know. So anyway, that's it. So next phase will be to just um, go over it with the Gorilla Glue. Okay, so this is... Uh, finishing up this rod. So I've got my Gorilla Glue here. Um, I've got some cloth. Now I actually ended up going online and buying what is some lint free cloth from, um, I got it from Amazon. I looked online and was looking at things that were being used for in nail salons and all kinds of stuff. Um, and the reason why is because I, I've actually done this rod one time um, using an old T-shirt, looked it under the, looked at it under the light, and actually decided that it was not good enough, and decided that the best thing I could do was actually to um, strip it all off. And so I had a quick emergency cleanup using some of uh, the spirit alcohol to, uh, just to, to to clean it all back. So we're back to square one. And um, we'll try again. So we're going to go with um, trying to do this whole section of the blank, actually. So I've degreased it. I've washed my hands about 10 times. So Gorilla Glue. Uh, undo it. And then literally this is a couple of drops. One, two... And then I just literally rub it in onto the, uh, the blank. The idea is, I think, very similar to how you uh, apply things like uh, tongue oil or Danish oil to furniture and things, which is where you literally make sure that there's a cover but you just put put it on and almost rub it off yeah so i mean it's coming up in a nice shine so that's a, a good thing so i'm going to carry on i will finish this up this particular section and then do the entire rod let it dry and then we'll take a look at the results